Yeah. So you were basically calling generally, man by man, according to the script. Here is the scroll of every man's name thought fit through all Athens to play in our interlude before the Duke and Duchess on their wedding day at night. Uh, at first, good Peter Quince, uh, say what the play treats on, then read the names of the actors and so go to a point. Marry, sir, our play is the most lamentable comedy and most cruel death of Pyramus and Thisbe. Oh, very good piece of work, I assure you. And a merry, now good Peter Quince, call for your actors by the scope. A master, spread yourselves. <laughs> and so as I call you, Nick Bottom the Weaver. Ready. Name what part I am for and proceed. You, Nick Bottom, are set down for Pyramus. What is Pyramus? A lover or a tyrant? A lover that kills himself most gallant for love. <laughs> oh, that will ask some tears in the true performing of it. If I do it, let the audience look to their eyes. I will move storms. I will condone in some measure to the rest. Yet my chief humour is for a tyrant. I could play Urkeles, really, or a part to tear a cat in to make all split. The raging rocks in the shivering shocks shall break the locks of prison gates, and Venus her shall shine from far and make and mar the foolish fates. <laughs> this was lofty. Now name the rest of the players. This is Urkeles' vein, the tyrant's vein. A lover is more good. No. <laughs> Francis Flute, the bellows mender. Here for your friends. Flute. You must take Thisbe on you. What is Thisbe? A wandering knight? <laughs> it is the lady which Prince <laughs> must love. <laughs> hey, let me not play old woman. I have a beard coming. Then so why that's all one? You may wear a mask. And you may speak as small as you will. And I may hide my face. Let me play Thisbe too. I speak in a monstrous little voice. Thisbe. Thisbe. Pyramus, my lover dear, and lady dear, and Thisbe dear. No! No. <laughs> you must needs play Pyramus. And Blute, you, Thisbe. Well, proceed. Robin Starling, the tailor. You're a bit of prince. Robin Starling, you shall play Thisbe's mother. Tom Snout, the tinker. Here, Peter Quince. You must play Pyramus's father, myself, Thisbe's father, uh, Snout the joiner, you the lion's part, and here I hope we have a play fitted. Have you the lion's part writ? Pray thee give it me, for I am slow of study. Why, you may do it extempore, but there's nothing but roaring. <laughs> Let me play the line too. I will roar you, that it will do any man's heart good to hear me. I will roar you, and the Duke will say, oh, let him roar again, let him roar again. Aye, and you would do it too terribly, that you would fright the Duchess and the ladies, that they would shriek. <laughs> and were enough to hang us all. Mm. That would hang us every mother's son. <laughs> but no! <laughs> if that you should drive the ladies out of their wits, they would have no more discretion but to hang us. But I will, oh, no, no. I will aggravate my voice, and I will roar you as gently as any sucking dove. I will roar you, and twere a nightingale. Wrong. <laughs> 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 you must needs play Pyramus, for Pyramus is a sweet-faced man, a proper man, as, as one shall see on a summer's day, a most lovely, gentleman-like man. Therefore, you must needs play well, I will undertake it. Oh. What beard were I best play it in? Oh, why, what you will. I will discharge it in either your straw-coloured beard, your orange tawny beard, your purple and grain beard, or your French crown colour beard, your perfect yellow. <laughs> Some of your French crowns have no hair at all, and then you will play it bare-faced. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Lord, masters, here are your parts, and I am to request you, entreat you, and desire you to come them by tomorrow night, and meet me in the palace wood a mile without the town. There shall we rehearse, for if we meet in the city, we shall be dogged with company and our devices known. Meantime, I shall draw up a bill of property, such as our play wants. I pray you, fail me not. We will meet, and there may we rehearse most obscenely and courageously. Take pains, be perfect. Adieu. At the Duke's oak, we meet. Enough. Hold a couple of strings. Yes. <laughs>